And we are on the air. Dog. Hi, everyone. Susie and Matt with Susie L Solutions here in Wenatchee at our new address, 413 North, North Mission, mission Street. We got yes, a mission. You're on Mission Street. Um, this is, of course, Suzilla, your weekly podcast. Hi. Yep. Uh, so, good morning. Good morning. So, how are you this lovely day? Oh, I am doing good. We're still kind of hanging signs and stuff. We've run, we've run for a decade. Uh, well, not run. We, you know, we've assisted people for a decade uh-huh. in in health insurance. Yes, that's that's what we do. That's what we. That's what we've got. That's yes. That's our mandate. And that's our mandate. And we we help everyone who walks in the door, uh-huh. um, regardless of income. Yeah. In we've done that, but in the end, you, you, we get a lot of really. Especially now, because it's it's I been it's been ten years uh, we've been doing this, um, and you know the Affordable Care Act's been going on. It'll be it'll be ten years this fall. Yep. Anniversary is the ten year anniversary of the Affordable Care Act insurance plan. This, the, the act itself has been going on a little bit longer than that, like the turning twenty six for um, the the birthdays for twenty six and yeah, it's like March something. Yeah, but the the actual plans themselves started. You know, ten years ago, yeah. almost ten years ago. Well, you started enrolling ten years ago, yeah, and that's. Years ago. But what what always makes me go really is you know people who this has been part. Well, I think part of that is because it's been part of my world so intensely for so long, and I know so many details that I forget that other people don't know the details. Well, let's let's just to be fair, okay. uh, we were we were in a. We're part of multiple groups yeah. on on Facebook, and so we, we get a lot of feedback on different things. But one was a particular agents group. Oh, that made me, I just got fell over when I when I read that one and didn't know what uh, the tax credits were. Yeah, well, the question was: Can you be on? Can you if agent of Medicare and still keep your Affordable Care Act plan? Uh huh. And I said, yes, you can. You just lose your lose your APTC, mm-hmm. which is agent lawyer, or insurance fee for advanced premium tax credit. And if you're selling these products, if you're representing the ACA plans, you should know what APTC means. Yeah, it's 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 one of those. You know, it's in, it's it's the it's, first acronym you learn. Yeah, it's it's vocabulary. Well, after ACA. Okay, second, <laughs> it's the second acronym you learn. But, but the agent or broker, whoever mm-hmm. it was, um, said, what's that? And I about fell out of my chair. Yeah. So it, it's like, why do you not know that? It's, it's, a, it's, it's one of those, you know, if you, if, you, if, you, if you need help, find, you know, find quality help. Yeah. Not, not all of us are, are created equal. No. Um, now, we're not disparaging any, especially if, if this, this guy was new. He mm-hmm. might have just been new at it. He might have been new. You know? And but he also was smart enough to ask for help, mm-hmm. and that right there is a huge step in the right direction. Oh yeah, and I know that there are a number of bad players out there that yeah. that, that don't. Yeah, um, that's the key. Is if you're just out there winging it without asking, then you're with the wrong person. You're yeah, good. there it's it's dangerous, and we 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 start to see things that fall apart. Well, we start to see some dirty pool. <clears throat> And we, we saw some dirty pool. We, we, we talked with one of our, our, our reps, uh, Health Alliance, mm-hmm. uh, this week. And, Shannon. And, and <laughs> you know, there, there was talk about the whole, you know, let's get a pitch man. Uh, you know, Joe Namath. Oh, yeah, and, the Joe and, 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 thing. Because uh, there's, you, if you watch TV at all, mm-hmm. usually network stuff. You don't see it as much on, on the the. the well, we don't see it on the stream, but yeah. I, still, I don't know if they're if they're targeting with the streaming ads or not. Um, watch, not so much. Yeah, if you watch network television, you're going to see the call this number and find out about these Medicare plans, and they're pitching Medicare Advantage plans, and they're using celebrities, using Jim mm-hmm. Walker and Joe Namath and um and uh, Captain Kirk, uh, William Shatner. William Shatner. Those are the three big ones. Yeah, and. They're pitching an 800 number, and they so the person calls this, mm-hmm. and they get a call center in probably Florida. So let's let's get in with the the, the first the, the pitch the, the first difference here because we we taught her how to do a pitch for a local thing for about 300 bucks because yeah. we, we did one. 
Uh, the, but the, ne the next thing we're going to get into is, is the, okay, health plans. Yes. Health plans are broken down by county where insurance plans are usually broken down by state. Correct. The insurance companies choose which counties they want to have their products in based on the demographics they want to address mm -hmm. and if they, if they, the contracts they can get with local mm -hmm. providers and whether or not they Here's can take make money here. And that's that's one of what we call a qualified health plan. Right. Because we've, we've seen some really crazy things be passed off as health plans that aren't really health plans. Oh, yeah. Um, here, here, your discount card. Go negotiate with your provider. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you, you, you want something that is quality, that is used, and that they, they have got access to your doctors in your area. Mm -hmm. In our state, it happens to be 20% at least 20% of the, the doctors have to be contracted before a plan can come in. That's right. Uh, we, we've seen, we're, we're in an area where we laughingly joke that health plans come to die. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that's because they have left the area or because they couldn't do business. Mm -hmm. uh, we had group health here for years and they, they squeezed out. Oh, Swedish that's... got squeezed out. I have never saw Swedish here. So we just had a small foothold in the uh, in the durable goods area for oh, sleep apnea. That's true. That's where that's I first got nice. my first my first machine. No, they were here for years and they got yeah, squeezed now, up. Bellevue's in there now. Bellevue, yeah, they're 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 making a play, and we'll we'll see how they do. Yeah, it's all about the contracts. It is about the contracts, and that's 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 a big important part of health insurance is, is how they are contracted. And that said this many times before, it takes two to tango. Correct. So it's not just the insurance companies, but it's the, it's the providers. And they have to work to, they have to come to um, detente at the mm -hmm. table and, and come to, a, come to a, a contract that benefits them both. Yeah. And this would, this would be like, um, you know, if we were in the, in the, in the car world, this would be like, you know, contracts with gas stations and uh mechanics they would have to have big contracts yeah. with, with mechanics and gas stations for them to operate yeah it, it's that is on how different those two are it's very very different um so let's let's get into i'm getting poor so i want you to put up there we go back to the next one poor? yeah it's, it actually tells me the feedback oh so uh, one of the, one of the things is, 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 is we, we, we hear from, from time to time is I didn't know there was an enrollment period. I get that at least once a, about once a, at least once a year, sometimes mm -hmm. every about three months. I didn't know there was an enrollment period. It's like, yeah, there is, there's always been enrollment periods with health insurance. However, if you've worked with an employer, you probably never noticed. Well, you don't think about it because they, they hand you the paperwork and say, Hey, do. Yeah. And they hand you the paperwork once a year, mm -hmm. and usually in the fall. It used to be in the fall. It shifts. It's shifted depending mm -hmm. on the company. And they say this. These are their plan offerings. You need to pick one. And if you don't pick one, it's just going to roll over to what you already have. Yeah. And a lot of people just sort of ignored it and let it roll and roll and roll and roll and roll, and not realizing that's an annual enrollment period. And if you want to make a change in the middle of the year, you have to have a qualified life event. You get mm -hmm. married, you get divorced, you have a baby, that kind of thing. You get a new job. You get a new job. And the individual plans available on the ACA follow those same rules. Yeah. And the individual plans off the ACA follow those same rules. Just when you're immersed in it, you don't really notice it. Well, it's, it's one, it's, it's one of those important details mm -hmm. that is often missed. Is, is like, yeah, there are enrollment periods when you go and, and go to Medicare. Mm -hmm. You know, you get an enrollment period. Mm -hmm. You have your initial enrollment period when you first turn sixty-five, and then you have the annual enrollment mm -hmm. periods for drug plans every year. And the annual enrollment period for Medicare is October fifteenth, starts October fifteenth, ends December seventh. For healthcare, and I'll have to say this usually goes from November 1st to December 15th. Right. Now, because of COVID, we've had extended uh, enrollment periods. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we get a special enrollment period for certain situations. We're in a special enrollment for 
certain income levels right now. Yeah, in Washington State, we are for 250% of poverty level in a special income. It's part of, and this is what this is one of the things that state exchanges are able to do. Mm-hmm. Is there because all insurance is, is controlled by the state? So right. if you if you're in a state with a with you know a bad insurance group, mm-hmm. yeah, you might not have a state exchange. You might have some really hard times when it comes to yeah. well, negotiations. Yes, with the state exchange, there's more power for the companies to to make those com- those. Uh, well, no, 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 not no, 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 for the right, company. I, I, my my phrasing was wrong there. But there's more power for um, for the state for the state to make those negotiations. Mm-hmm. If you're in a state that does not have a state exchange, then you're relying on the federal exchange. Yes, um, which is healthcare.gov, mm-hmm. which is perfectly fine. It's perfectly legitimate, but it's not focused as much. It's not. It's not focused, and there's a lot, there's a lot less power at the state level. Right. So right now, our state created a special exchange because we're going to do a special program in 2023. Mm-hmm. This that is specific to Washington State, and it's, it's a very big one because it's it's what it is is it's it's it's, it's Cascade Care Savings, mm-hmm. and what what they did was they said, hey, you know what, we we need some extra extra help mm-hmm. for for our, our lower income people. So if you're single, making up about thirty two thousand, you can qualify for you know what we call a zero premium plan. It's probably going to be a dollar or two. Dollar three. It, they're working out the details yeah. still. We will know November 1st. Yes. We will have details and be able to share with you on November 1st on that. Um, and that, that's one of the big ones is is exchanges. Yeah. Um, and and, and we, 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 we got to talk about exchanges because they're in the property world and, and most consumers don't see them. Mm-hmm. When you go to an independent broker and they bring up this big screen and they start picking plans that might work for you, that's an exchange. Mm-hmm. Um, I have a travel plan exchange that I work with. Mm-hmm. Um, we have a life insurance exchange. We have a exchange. life insurance exchange that we work with. They're basically big, I guess, it's, here's a big. Here's your $4 mm-hmm. word for the day, aggregators. Yep. Um, they gather in the different plans there's they handle the contracting and then they allow you to pick from that list yeah and there's a few out there and, and uh you know and this this is this is another big difference there's a few out there uh you know internet like you know carinsurance.com and a few that, that, that do that same aggregate work yeah uh, however some of those will sell off the information yeah you're we're not allowed to do that when in, in the health insurance world right and, and that is a key distinction. You're, if you get a true, hey, I'm working with the state exchange. Hey, I'm an enrollment center. There, we're not allowed to sell off that information. Mm-hmm. And I can't stress it enough because we've we've had people come to us with their phones blowing up because they shopped at Joe Schmucky Insurance, mm-hmm. and Joe Schmucky Insurance sold it to ten other brokers. Who some might use a call center out of the Philippines because that is a thing. Oh, it is. We've been pitched by them, um, and it's 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 really important. That it's like okay, it's your information. Know where your information goes. Yeah, because we don't sell your information. We build you for internal yes. purposes, but we're not going to put together a list and sell it to some joe schmuck in to 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 sell it out and so on and so on mm-hmm. so your information it's it's a hipaa thing it it's a hipaa thing we we don't we we don't want we, your information getting out w- the basic and this is the basic for insurance and this mm-hmm. this is this is mr a gets the, the 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 golden secret of insurance and this is this is how you can rate every insurance agent out there is you do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Exactly. It's the golden rule. It's it's how insurance has been founded. And the minute someone deviates from that, mm-hmm. they're no they're more in the banking industry than the insurance industry. Yeah. And one of the ways we kind of we, we go we use that as a yardstick here. Mm-hmm. And we look at that and go, okay, do I want this to happen to me? Do I want this to happen to my mother? Yeah. You know, would you, you know, and so we use that as a yardstick. Not everybody does. Some people are looking at just the bottom line. Yeah. They're looking to line their pockets. We're not interested in that. We're interested more in serving the public and serving our clients. Um, yeah, we make, we make commissions. We make commissions from mm-hmm. insurance companies. 
Um, and we don't make it, it, there's, yeah. there's, a, there's another there's another difference. That's a huge difference, actually. Uh, we don't make commissions on every product we we we, no. we work. No, we don't. Um, but that doesn't stop. It doesn't stop us. For example, uh, Apple Health, our state's Medicaid program, we do not receive a single dime. Mm-hmm. Uh, we help out. We 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 started early because originally when we first saw the program a decade ago, it's like okay. We will recommend it to uh, the navigators, and they'll do a good job. And we we, we had a, 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 a group that that they would come back to us, mm-hmm. and they say they, they're not they're not returning they're, they're not returning our calls. We we need help, and it's like okay, so fine, we'll, we'll take care of you. Mm-hmm. And then that's that's on how we we started and helping everybody. Mm-hmm. Well, and that also, I mean, there's also situations where I'm doing that with medical folks. Mm-hmm. I use Medicare.gov, the federal site, to help compare plans um, for people in their drug plans. Mm-hmm. And there's a couple of companies out there that will not work with brokers. Mm-hmm. They don't contract with any brokers. If they contract the broker, I'm contracted with yeah. them. But there's a couple that just refuse to. So, but it's not going to, I will use Medicare.gov and I will help a person pick the right plan. And sometimes it's a plan that I'm not contracted with. And that's when we have to send them off and say, hey, mm-hmm. go and roll over there. Absolutely. We will, we will direct them and say, okay, take to, go to Medicare.gov, mm-hmm. press the enroll now button, mm-hmm. and then you can take care of your enrollment. Yeah. And, then, and But we're still going to help them shop. We will still, we will still say, yeah, this is probably the best plan for you. I'm not um, going to turn someone away. So I'm, I'm going to do the work. Mm-hmm. I won't get paid for it. Yeah. But that's okay because I'm helping somebody. And we're helping our neighbors. Uh, and that, that, that's a big, really you know, distinction. We don't, like I said, we don't get paid for every product. At one point, I think we're, uh, half my, half my book was, was completely freebies. And it gets to a point where it gets kind of a little bit on the terrifying side because, you know, we've got bills. Yeah. Um, it, it, it diminishes our outreach. Um, and it's one of the things I've, I've, I've talked about before. It's like, you know, Hey, you know, cause we, we work with really closely with the health plan finder and they give us a, a, a small budget uh, to, to help with the marketing, uh, mm-hmm. thank goodness, mm-hmm. or we wouldn't be able to do the outreach we do. No, not at all. Um, and, and that's, a, you know, and that, that's one of the things that, that, that some of our property guys, mm-hmm. they look at, it, it's like, you're working with who? Yeah. Yeah. They're totally surprised that we do this. Um, because it's, it's, it's very unique. And I think Washington state might be the only one that, that did it. But it's not exactly a broadly advertised concept. No, it, 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 I feel like we're kind of a little a bit, little um, on the QT about it for some reason. Yeah, it, it is kind of a little on the QT. You can find it. All, we're on the health plan finder. Oh, this is completely. We are absolutely uh-huh. findable. Then we'll be t- totally transparent uh-huh. about it. But, but it, it's it's not it's not a heavily pitched program. No, it's um, not. And it's it it happened. It was early on uh, from the Wakely report, mm-hmm. um, and they, they looked at customer satisfaction, and they discovered that brokers mm-hmm. had the highest satisfaction level. Mm-hmm. And then they, they, they looked again at our cost, because we're not paid with every plan, mm-hmm. and we're not compensated for every plan, we had the lowest cost to, 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 to produce mm-hmm. numbers. Mm-hmm. Um, we were the most cost-effective tool for the exchange. Yeah, that's uh, what it boils down to. And well, we were, the, well, we were you know had the highest cost, customer satisfaction. Mm-hmm. You can't stop that one. No, that's that's the big one. Highest customer satisfaction, oh, and then the lowest cost. Right, we were the most cost-effective tool because if they do it all internally, um, like the you know all internally, like you know using call centers, that's expensive. Because call centers have to pay an hourly wage. Yes, we don't have we don't have hourly. No, wage. we are strictly commission. Um, so yeah, we we we've rolled into events you know late late at night, and it's like okay, yeah, I gotta go or I got a shift, and it's like cool, we're right here with the people. Yeah. yeah. And, but working with the state in this sort of charity component mm-hmm. doesn't exist in property. No, there's nothing like it in property. Mm-hmm. We are so, health is a very very different animal than property when yeah. it comes to the the way it works. So that's why when it comes to I had someone in um, not that long ago who said I thought it was like car insurance I could just get it when I need it. 
No. And that that is the last thing you can do. You have to work within the enrollment periods. Mm -hmm. um, if your employer offers you a credible plan mm -hmm. that's affordable, uh -huh. odds are you're going to want to take it. Yeah. Because if you don't, you won't qualify for that APTC, the Advanced Premium Tax Credit. And what's going to happen is is the employer is going to get a nasty letter mm -hmm. and threaten to do horrible things to you. Mm -hmm. uh, your tax credits, when you turn to fi file your, your, your taxes the following year, because you must file your taxes, mm -hmm. that's, that's another distinction. Yes, because the IRS is involved. Because the IRS, the IRS is, is the kind of the the watchdog. Yeah, they're the arbiter of the of of the of the, ta of of the, the tax, tax credits. credits the who, um, so you don't you don't there was reconciliation. yeah you you don't get the same thing on the property side. Mm -hmm. um, you must if you use the, you know the exchanges or the you know the even, even the Medicaid you must file your taxes every year. Yes. It's, it's, I've, I had, I've had to pull it up more than once for a person who said, I don't make enough to file. It's like, here's the rule. Yeah. And I, I, if, if you, if you want, if you want to fight me, go to the IRS. Fight them. Fight them. Yeah. File your taxes, read your mail. Yeah. Those are always two <laughs> we all, we always things. talk about that. Yes. Those are the two things. Yep. Um, so that, that, you know, there are some really important distinctions on, uh, on, on the enforcement, you know, Hey, you don't have to have the tax credits, but you know what? We're going to have them in another three years, mm -hmm. um, thanks, thanks to the, the administration doing their part to, uh, it was the reduction of inflation. Uh, yeah, the Inflation Reduction Act. Inflation, yeah, the Inflation called. Reduction Act. Yeah, but they what they did is that was them part, piecing out the Build Back Better bill. Yeah. And they took what they could and they enacted certain bits of it because mm -hmm. they couldn't do it in one big chunk, which was very annoying and disappointing, but they gave us three more years of increased tax credits. Yeah. And we'll see what happens after two and a half and see where it's going to go from there. Yeah. Because we, we've, we've, we've seen the last minute. Yeah. Now, well, here's the thing. The increased uh -huh. tax credits, the level we're at right now is where the Affordable Care Act was supposed to be by now. Yeah. This is how it's supposed to have more or less. Yeah, because they've taken a hammer to it multiple times. Exactly. But this is kind of getting it back to its proper place in the process now there are other there are other states that have done things mm -hmm. um to reduce the cost yes that's like the um uh, oh i lost it what's the word uh, 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 you know what i mean the, you're talking the tax corridors yes the tax corridors the the the, the, the reinsurance thank you <laughs> Rebate was in my head. Like, that's not the right word. Reinsurance is an important program where you take a, some, some money and you use it to lower premiums. Yeah. Um, when you get into the geekery of insurance, you'll see it on the back end of, of programs yeah. for property and stuff. Yeah. Um, yes, reinsurance happens in property. It does, but it's it's very on the back end. Yeah, it's um, very not consumer facing. Yeah, it, it, it was it was a lot more consumer facing with 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 the Affordable Care Act, you know, when it got ripped out early. Mm -hmm. um, there were some serious problems because it got ripped out. Yeah, there was no wiggle room. There like, was no wiggle room. And that was that was with, with Republican legislators did that. Yeah. Um, they were trying to crash the ACA. The current trash is still hasn't crashed because of the, because it's a system. Mm -hmm. And that's what I tell people. It's a system. It's not a single product. It's a system. Mm -hmm. um, but you see states like Alaska mm -hmm. have their own reinsurance program, which lowered the rates. It did. And that made a huge difference for Alaska. Yeah. And and that, that's important. There are, there are little tricks that you can do to lower the cost of insurance. Now, we suspect... Mm -hmm that Washington State, with some of the new laws regarding provider and income, mm -hmm. it's going to act as kind of reinsurance. Oh, I think I missed that. Well, it, it, was, it was one of the things... Well, there's the, the Cascade Care. No, this is not Cascade Care. This is different. 
Okay. What they did was they say, hey, charity care, you've got to be a oh, charity oh, oh, care. Oh, 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 and this is going to come out of the pro- care program. This is going to come out of the provider thing. This was this was a lawsuit by the attorney I general that, that came now. that came into play just a couple months ago. Yeah, I I'm not, when you say charity care, my mm-hmm. mind says compassionate care, so I didn't put those pieces together. And that is that is, you know, it's it's gonna have an effect. Mm, it will because you now you've got money that's not hitting the insurers' mm-hmm. books. Exactly. Now, when it doesn't hit the insurer the the health insurance books, it doesn't impact their eighty twenty rule. Mm-hmm. So they're going to have to be paying back more premiums to the end user. Okay, quick look at money. The eighty twenty rule is eighty percent of the premiums that are brought in by an insurance company have to be used for covering insurance claims. If they do not use eighty percent of it, mm-hmm. they have to re- reimburse the policy owner. The owner. The difference. So if it's you on an individual claim, you get a check. If it is your boss's, if it's the boss's group plan. The box gets, gets the check. check. So that's quick on the 80-20 rule. And that doesn't exist in any in any of the other insurance. No, that is totally unique to that's, health that's insurance. That's unique to health insurance and it's very important. And it's why we stress individual ownership. Exactly. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have to we're probably gonna see because those those hospital bills gotta go somewhere. The hospitals can't just, you know, you know, turn around. They're, yeah, they're gonna eat it, but that means the insurance companies aren't eating it. Yeah, and that theoredically might reduce the price of stuff a little. I don't know. I don't know what it's going to do. It's 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 going to it's going to have an effect, and that that's the important the the, the important thing is, is where they're going to shift their costs to. Yeah, my concern. Uh, I mean, I was just thinking that well, wouldn't the providers start jacking up some of their rates to insured to the insurance companies to cover those compassionate care costs that are coming out of their coffers? Well, then you start running into the the visibility thing that that, that Trump instituted uh-huh. that that all the providers must be, you know, the transparency. Transparency, yeah. So you, if you start to see those rates go crazy, you're going to see another round of legislation hit those providers. Mm-hmm. So the, the providers are on a dangerous dangerous grain that the insurance companies were with health mm-hmm. over a decade ago. Yeah, so they're. So the the we're going to squeeze every dollar out of the consumer shifted from the insurance company to the provider, and now it's shifting again. Mm-hmm. Okay. And we're, we're going to well, start to stop squeezing. Us. Well, it, it's 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 commerce, and yeah. and when you start looking at different universal systems yeah. across the world, yeah. you start to see this 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 weird shell game between consumer mm-hmm. provider. An insurance company. Yeah, it's it's just a it is it it, it who knows who's got the P. Yeah, who's who's mm-hmm. got the who's well who's, it's not who's got the P. Who's got the most P's? Mm-hmm. Um, you said chill game. I was making an analogy. Yeah, and yeah. and it, it's it's one of those things that, that you see because you know I, as I as I point out many a time, insurance has been around before the firearm. That's true. It's been around, I think, insurance started with shipping. It was shipping in the Tigris-Euphrates Valley Mm -hmm. over losses and spreading the loss. Right. Because that's one of the primary components of insurance is it spreads loss. Exactly. So the one one group doesn't get wiped out when they they make a loss. Exactly. That's the whole concept behind it. You don't get obliterated if Mm -hmm. you have a loss. So you got that 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 spread out of, of 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 loss or you know risk, and that's why you get risk corridors and stuff, and that's why risk is another important thing. Yeah, you're geeking out hard. Dude. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> let's 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 just let's, let's wheel it back. So health insurance is not like car insurance. No, it's not. Take the moment to to do a little bit of, of education, and I'll, I'll give you a really good one to end on. There are plans out there. In certain areas that are zero deductible. It's true. We have one here in Chelan County. So, yeah. So, don't focus on the deductible. It's not all about the deductibility. It's about the usability. Yes. Find find your nerd and have a good week. We are out of here. It is almost 30 minutes exactly. Nerds. <laughs> Nerds. So, <laughs> hey, have fun. 
take take a moment to you know to really if if you if you don't want to nerd out on this stuff, find a nerd to to grab a hold of and and help you through this because it it's gonna be every year for the rest of your life. Yeah, um, it, it it's not as complicated once you're finished enrolling in Medicare, but it's always good to keep an eye on things. Yes, because there are slight little changes because every year, every year, and we tell people, hey, if you might want to check. Yep, watch your annual notification of change. Yep. So hey, have a great week and bye bye for now. Bye.